Tina, Dop Minette, Dop Aika, and Dop Jeline. Kumusta naman kayo? What is one word? Charot lang. Yes, what is one word that you would use to describe a vaccine? One word lang. Charot lang. Well, it's nice to be surrounded by very brilliant and beautiful lady doctors. And to our audience, do you feel good, do good, and feel great today? Yes! Louder! Yes! Alright, that's the energy I want. Okay, so, Dr. Tina. What? <laughs> Transition. <laughs> Dr. Tina, so how long have you been a board member of the Philippine Vaccination Foundation? Foundation. Philippine Foundation for Vaccination and tell us more about your organization. So it's kaya para na. Kaya I feel like as doctors we should also be friendly. Yes, we should put on a friendly face. We adopt their white coats. Yeah. Because they get more afraid when they see you on. Definitely. Yeah, but I think. Yung doctor kano is it wasn't her white coat eh it was the overall it was the overall sorry sorry doc love you thank you for the vaccinations purpose I'll differentiate first so vaccination is the process where you receive the actual vaccine yung medication immunization is the process where after you receive the vaccine yung immune system mo yung magdevelop ng protection against the vaccine preventable disease so receiving vaccines is uh, or vaccination is that process where you receive the vaccine and you you go through the process of immunization and you develop all this protective um, immunity or your body um, mounts its own defense because there's already a recognition that the, you received a very harmless form of the virus or bacteria and then that actually protects you for a very long time you you will actually parang realize that oh I've never been absent from work was it but you never think about the the vaccine pala yung naging cause na no and you realize that oh I'm more protective I'm more productive in my work and maybe because that you received all those vaccines really interesting you know receiving the harmless version of the disease so that you will be protected for a long time you know what's anong ganyan version no for like heartache. No, if only there was. Because it's grabi talaga. You have to go through extreme pain. You know, tapat. Exactly. Parang kailangan maloko ka pa bago ka matuto. Ang sa tayo. Wala pang ibang una para jan, di ba? So that we skip the process. Because you know, experience is the best teacher, daw. Pero talaga kailangan. Skip the experience. Ay charot sorry. Oh my god, may charot kaming personal na pala. Charot. Okay, now for for Doc Tina naman. When it comes to the now that we know uh, what vaccination is, the process, and how our body creates the immunity, what are its specific benefits when it comes to individuals, the families, and our community in general? When we talk about vaccination, we're not just talking about individual health. Okay, we have to take a look at vaccination as beneficial not only for the individual but for the entire community. Because when we think of vaccine, we just think of cough and colds, but we don't realize that. These diseases that vaccines prevent are actually um, uh, can harm the child. No, it, it can cause lifelong disability and even death. And of course, hindi lang yun pina prevent it. Also, prevent lifelong complications. For example, you have your hepatitis B that prevents liver cancer. You have your cervical cancer vaccine or your, your cervical vaccine which prevents against cervical cancer. And of course, when you talk about flu vaccine, we're not just talking about flu per se. Remember, people, particularly the elderly who have comorbidities like heart diseases, uh, cardiovascular diseases, they are more prone to cardiovascular complications after flu. And of course, hindi natin kakalimutan, syempre, the, the burden sa healthcare system at sa finances pag nagkasakit, di ba? So when you get sick, how much does it cost for you to get admitted sa hospital, di ba? Hindi ka lalabas ngayon ng hospital nang wala kang bill ng 100,000 pesos. And if we just get our vaccine, which costs much, much more less than that, we can prevent that. And of course, when we also get our vaccine, we also protect the community from getting the infection, from, from spread of infections at the community. And I think, ano pa ba yung classic example and the greatest example is COVID, diba? Without the COVID vaccine, malamang hanggang ngayon, pandemic pa rin tayo. So I think that's what we, we want to focus on the community. It's not just about individual health vaccination, it's about the health of the entire community and the entire nation.
Yeah, so dapat hindi puro sarili lang yung iniisip. We should also think about others. Dr. Kaji, okay. uh, <laughs> can, I, can I add? Can I add? Yes, yeah. yes. So the other benefit for receiving vaccines is that people don't realize you are receiving the vaccine, less likely na po kayo magkakasakit, less chances that you're going to take antibiotics, and less chances that you will develop drug-resistant uh, bacteria or illnesses. So that's the particular aspect that we also want to inform the public that this is one of the benefits of the vaccine in relation to what Dr. Tina said that it's about community immunity. Yes, definitely. And also I read a lot of comments on my social media kasi na, you know, they keep accusing us doctors na puro kasi kayo gamot, puro kasi kayo gamot. Well, have you taken the vaccine sana? Then we wouldn't be giving you those antibiotics. Diba? So, isang shot na lang, isang medication na lang to prevent more medications in the future. So, parang yun yung concept of getting vaccinated. Alright, now for the Aika, since you're both a lifestyle medicine doctor and a content creator, how important is content creation on social media in terms of promoting awareness for the vaccines? And also, what is the impact of getting vaccinated in our overall lifestyle? So I just want to ask, no, pagkunting survey tayo. Who uses Facebook, TikTok, IG to get information about health? Raise your hand. Yung pa kunari nang yeah, right. So si Doc, okay, we can also relate to this. Let me just give you a bit of history. Don't worry, di kayo makatulog dito. Twenty years ago, ang doctor po kasi ang gatekeeper ng knowledge. The only way for us to find or to learn this information was through books, di ba? We had to read. Harrison's everything just to gain this knowledge. But with the advent of technology, because this knowledge or this information is now in the web. So right now, patients or people are getting their information online. Hindi na sila pumunta sa doctor just to get the facts, di ba? Check mo na nila yung TikTok bago they even go to a doctor. Now, that is why doctors need to embrace the present, right? If our patients are in TikTok, Facebook, IG, we need to be there. Because if not, ang daming misinformation, disinformation, people will take advantage, di ba? Mga kung ano-ano sinasabi nila, tinumin mo to, do this, do that, mali pala, it's causing more harm. So if there are doctors online that's giving the facts and they learn that, imagine the impact. Right? Just this simple information can change their lives. So, uh, I'm sure Doc K can relate to this. Siya yung pinaka og talaga sa content creation. When you put it online, imagine how many people using this education can take care of themselves. Kasi health starts with education. The more you learn, the more you take care of yourself. So, ako personally, I only started then recently to create content online. And when I see my patients sa clinic na doctor, doc, nakita kita sa TikTok, may sinabi kang gitong ganyan. It feels very fulfilling na that simple information na sinut ko lang sa bahay ko has reached how many million people in the Philippines. And because of that, they take care of themselves. So aside from the content creation na ginagawa rin sa digital medicine, no, in terms of lifestyle, dami ko kasi yung medyo hats ngayon, lifestyle, um, ang prevention kasi is not just me asking you, how's your diet? Are you exercising? Are you sleeping enough? Are you smoking? Are you drinking? When you look at the prevention pyramid ng isang healthcare professional, nandun sa pyramid ang vaccination. So me personally, when I do my screening, actually it just came from the clinic, I asked them a doctor about their vaccination record. So, especially when I'm dealing with adults like uh, women, just to insert lang, no? Siguro tatakal, but may aesthetic doctor na kasama sa vaccination. Did you know the warts on your face doesn't just happen there like magic? That's actually HPV, right? It's human papillomavirus causing the warts. So, imagine if you take this vaccine, and then, mas gaganda pa tayo. <laughs> Lesser warts, right? So. Just for that information na hindi alam ng tao na ah, yung warts pala caused by HPV, then all the more that they would actually be receptive towards it. So I think information is power and putting it online um, will really create a big difference.
Yes, definitely I agree. Health solution needs, right? Like, ako, I go to Watson's as a mom. I go to Watson's to buy my kids vitamins, medicines, and also I go there for my beauty products. But it's also good to know that Watson's have vaccinations in their select stores nationwide. Let's give it a round of applause for Watson's. Yes, indeed. Watson's, let's go. Magpapa flu vaccine naman dyan. Yeah. Oh, Correct. And you know what? Watson's also has partnered with trusted institutions like GCash and Concentrix to make health products and services even more accessible. You know, did you know that, like I mentioned a while ago, you can get your vaccinations at select and no, I will not like hello. Okay. And booking an appointment is so easy. You can go and do it in store. Or if you have the Watson's app, you can check the schedules of the Watson stores near you. Who here has the Watson's app? Of course we all have. I love it. Gusto ko yung lahat because we're here for the Watson's points, aren't we? Yeah. Yes. Ako po si Dingdong. Magandang hapon ako po si Thea. Hello, ako si Carl. Ako po si Kara. Ako si Monica. Ako po si Bibay. Ano ako naman si Papu? May isa pa. Ako po si Chester. And we are... Spit Manila! Nakita po namin at namin yung ganyan na palakpakan niyo po kami. Gusto po namin malaman sino po ang nakita na kami sa social media. Participate, participate, participate. Alam ba ang ginagawa kasi natin, Ari? Yung ginagawa kasi namin, tinatawag namin improv comedy. Ano ang ibig sabihin nito? Everything that we do on stage is on the spot. Pero kailangan namin ng participation at suggestions nyo. Are you ready to participate? Yes! Kung totoo, are you ready? Yes! Magandang araw sa inyo. Lahat ako si Ginang Jemima Ricci Santos. Ayan. Ayan, nandito na po si Madam Oracle for your questions. Do we have a question? Yes, meron po tayo mula kay Dan. Hello, Dan. Hello po. Hey, Ben. Ben pala. Hello, Ben. Hello po. Be as po. Paano po tayo crush ng crush ko? Paano kung hindi siya crush ng crush niya? Dalawang bagay ang pwede gawin. Una, magsimba tuwing Sabado para maging crush ka niya. Pangalawa, magtilik ng 
sampung pulang kandila sa labas na bahay ninyo kung na sunog at halaman magkakaroon kayo ng moment pero kung ang mga bulaklak ang nasunog kayo ay hindi magiging forever. Yon. So then, ha? Pumili ka na yung kandila. Okay, ready na yan. Who is our second question asker? Meron ba? Please raise your hand kung meron. Ayan dito sa harap. Hello? Hello, what's your name? Hello, I'm Casey and I want to ask, do I ever get my love life since I've been into a I've been into the relationship last time and it felt because that boy said I'm too much and the trauma rosha sa akin kasi sa sobrang dami ko pera na ahirong career goals. Good riddance, sabi ko. Dahil if you have too much money, then you don't deserve him.